Crafts and Decor. We are super excited because today we are going to teach you how to create your very own bubblegum machine. Your friends are going to be so impressed. Don't worry, you'll see it's super super easy. Come on, let's begin! The first thing we are gonna use is this paper board square. This is a medium thick one. We cut a smaller square out of it. This one is 9.4 inches wide and long. Now we cut another paper board square that was 5.1 inches wide and long for the top part. And then for the bubblegum machine sides, we'll cut two of this paper board shape that is 7.87 inches tall, 8.97 inches wide on the bottom part, and 4.6 inches wide on the top part. Be very careful with the measurement so everything fits perfectly. We are going to cut two pieces of this one. This one is the front part. It's 9.4 inches long on the bottom part, 5.1 inches long on the top part, and it's 787 inches tall. This paper board piece is for the back part. This one is 9.4 inches long on the bottom part, 5.1 inches long on the top part, and it's 7.87 inches tall. On one of the pieces we cut for the sides, we are going to outline this rectangle. It has to be 2.7 inches apart from the paperboard edge, and the rectangle is 1.9 inches long and 1.3 inches wide. So now we have to cut off the little rectangle we marked on the paperboard. But hey, don't throw it to the trash just yet. It's very important to keep the piece since we'll need it later. On the paperboard piece we cut for the front part, we are going to mark the machine slots. The top slot is 1.3 inches long and 0.19 inches wide. The top slot is for the coin. Now, the middle slot is 1.9 inches long and 0.98 inches wide. This one is to pick the coins. And finally, the bottom slot is 4.3 inches long and 0.98 inches wide. This one is for us to pick the bubblegum out. So, I already cut all of the slots we marked. We are ready for the next step. We are going to use this paperboard base as the base for our bubblegum machine. And then we are going to measure 4.9 inches from the edge to the middle of the paperboard. And then we will mark a horizontal line there. We cut all of these pieces. You can find the patterns down below in the video description so you can have them too. After that, we'll glue the pieces this way with hot silicone glue. We'll glue them all together so in the end we'll end up with something like this. Be careful with the hot glue so you don't hurt yourself. This piece we glued is where the bubble gum is going to pass when it falls down. Next, we have this small paperboard circle. This one is 3.1 inches diameter. We need two of them. Now, we'll take a piece of bubble gum and size it on our circle like this, and then we'll mark it. We have this paperboard rectangle that is 2.7 inches long and 1.2 inches wide, and we'll divide it in three parts just like this. Then, with the help of a paper cutter, we are going to slightly cut the surface of each division. This way we can bend them without breaking them. Now, we are going to glue it banded like this, exactly on the place where we marked our bubblegum. We cut another paperboard rectangle. This one is 7.8 inches long and 1.18 inches wide, and we'll divide it in 20 parts. We'll also slightly cut each section so it can bend like this. Now, we'll start hot gluing all the pieces together with the new rectangle we just cut. Glue it really carefully. Make sure the rectangle goes all the way around the paperboard circle just like this. All done! So now we'll glue the other circle on top of all of it. 
it looks good! This part is going to spin around and deliver the bubble gum to us! With the help of a pointy pencil, we'll create a hole in the middle of our piece. We'll make sure our pencil goes all the way through it, so the hole is on both sides. Okay, so we have three flat sticks like these ones. With this, we are going to create the machine mechanism. Make sure the flat sticks you chose are 2.5 inches long, otherwise they won't fit properly. We cut three rectangles like these ones. You can also download the patterns in the description down below. And then we'll hot glue them together. After we have glued them together, we'll add these two tiny rectangles on the top, just like this. We cut the flat sticks in half, and now we'll hot glue them on top of each other just like this. So now we'll make sure the flat sticks fit inside the rectangle piece we made before. We cut tiny pieces of the flat sticks and glued them together on top of each other again, but this time we'll glue them on opposite directions like this. We'll glue them on the middle top part of the rectangle piece, just like this. Now we'll take a rubber band and attach it on the tiny part we just glued all the way to the end of our flat sticks. Look! This way you can slip in and out this piece of the machine. Awesome! It's fun to do it! Be proud because you made this all yourself! With a cutter we're going to cut out the first two flat sticks. The next step is to create four paperboard circles that are 3.1 inches diameter. We'll take a small coin and mark half of it on the first circle, just like this. Now, with a pencil, we'll mark straight lines coming out from the sides of the circle we marked before, just like this. And then we'll cut that piece. We'll make one more of this. We need to hot glue the pieces together on top of each other. Make sure to glue them together really good. It's time to glue the two left circles on each side of the circle piece from before. And for this piece, we'll also create a hole in the middle with the help of a super pointy pencil. We cut all these four tiny pieces that you can also find in the description down below. And I'm going to glue them together. Be very careful with how the pieces are glued together so your bubblegum machine works perfectly. Look, our coin can now go inside. It's kind of like a coin slide. We'll mark this coin on a piece of paperboard. Mark it really, really good. We'll mark it, but after, we'll also mark a square, like as if we were trapping the circle inside the square. But it's going to be a little bit smaller than the circle itself, so make sure it looks like this. We cut the square part we marked, and now we'll glue these two rectangle pieces. It's going to look like a small box. Look, now it looks like a coin slide. It's time to make the coin box. We cut all these pieces and we're going to start to glue them all together. Make sure to use enough glue so the pieces stay together. So now we'll build a small drawer so we can recover the coins we deposit inside the bubblegum machine. Glue all the pieces together this way. Now. With the help of this pointy tool, we'll create a small hole on the rectangle we saved at the beginning. We need a small hole, just big enough so we can fit a small tack inside. Look, this way it looks like a real drawer. It looks so cute. Good job, guys. We cut two rectangles like these ones and we'll also make a small hole in the middle. After that, we'll add a small amount of hot glue in the middle part and we'll glue a small square there. To create the bubblegum slide, we're going to mark 1.8 inches on the paperboard rectangle and then we'll mark 5 inches too. Now we'll mark vertical lines starting from the marks we did before. Let's cut following the lines we marked, but we'll cut them slightly so we can bend our paperboard piece. We're going to start gluing the bubblegum slide we created. Now, we're going to create a circle that's 4.3 inches diameter. 
It's time to cut it! So let's be very careful with the scissors! So now, we're going to mark the circle right in the middle, just like this, so we can cut it after. We cut this paperboard rectangle that's 6.6 .6 inches long and 0.78 inches wide. Then, we'll do a slight cut every 1 cm. This is how we can bend it easily without breaking it. Okay, so we're going to glue the rectangle on half of the circle. So let's hot glue it very carefully so it ends up looking awesome. It's time to mark the lid of the bubblegum container on a piece of paperboard. Also, please mark which side is the front. We also mark this on the lid. This is going to be the hole where the bubblegum will fall down to. After we cut the hole we marked on the lid, we are going to mark the hole on the paperboard circle we marked before and then we'll cut it. Now we'll hot glue the lid with the paperboard, making sure both holes fit perfectly on top of each one. It's time to join the pieces together. First, we'll join these two parts together. Make sure to use a long pole as a support to join all the pieces, just like this. In this case, I'm using a pencil as a support. This is where the bubble gum is going to go. And on the other side, we have the coin slot that makes the machine work. On this part, we're going to glue the bubble gum slide we created, just like this. Make sure to glue it really, really good. Look, this is how the bubble gum is going to fall down to the slide and then to the little wheel so we can take it out. We're going to glue the coin box right here. Now, we're going to seal the whole edges with hot glue. This way, the pieces stay in place. Now, we'll glue this small rectangle vertically on this side of the machine. And we'll also glue another rectangle on this other side of the machine. These rectangles work as a ramp for our coins and bubblegum. This is the next piece we're going to glue on the middle slot. Okay, so now we'll also glue the coin slide right here joined in the middle slot with the top one. This is how it looks! You put the coin inside and it goes to the slide. If the coin is smaller, it goes to the coin box in the middle. Wow! We'll make a hole with the help of a pencil under the middle part, just like this. Time to glue the sides. Glue them very carefully so they stay together. We'll join all of the big pieces together so our bubblegum machine starts looking cuter and cuter. Make sure to be very careful when joining the front part inside the pencil and we'll glue them really, really well. Just like this. Add hot glue on the edges, inside and out, so the bubblegum machine has enough support so it won't collapse at all. Okay, so now we'll insert this piece right here, making sure that just a small part of the slide sticks out. We cut this small rectangle and we're going to glue it right here just to make it look pretty. And we'll use this piece right here to glue it on the pencil and use it as a handle. It's time to glue the last wall. We'll glue it really, really good. Remember the half circle we had? Well, we're going to use that as a container that will receive the bubble gum the machine gives us. Time to fill our container with lots and lots of bubble gum! Yay! When the container is full, we're going to add hot glue on the top part of the machine like this and we'll glue it together to the lid. Look how cool it looks! We're going to paint it to make it look even prettier. I covered some parts with blue tape, so not a single drop of paint falls on those pieces. And we'll use spray paint. I am using a pink color, but you can use whatever color you like. I painted the rest of the pieces with the sky blue, and now I will add some cute stickers to my bubblegum machine. You can decorate it in whichever way you want. Let's get creative! I think it's looking super pretty. I can't wait to eat all of the bubblegum. Look, I also added some sticker letters spelling the word sweet. Mm, yummy! Guys, look, it's ready! Wow, the bubblegum machine looks amazing! I love it! But let's try it out!
Let's insert the coin first and then twist the handle. Oh, I'm so excited! Let's twist it and twist it. And here it is! The bubble gum! It works perfectly! So here's our amazing bubble gum machine! Did you guys like it as much as me? Please tell us in the comments what do you think? I think it was a super fun DIY tutorial! My friends are going to love it! I'm sure your friends will too! Please give us a like and subscribe to our channel! And if you already are, please ring the bell so you don't miss any of our next videos! We want to know what do you want to see next, so please leave us lots and lots of comments! Thanks for watching Crafts and Decker! See you next time! Bye bye bye!